According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, urinary incontinence affects at least 10 million adult Americans. 1.5 million people currently living in nursing home, half of them are incontinent. 7% to 20% of the adult patients in hospital are affected by incontinent. Good morning. My name is Saeed Shajol. I am pursuing my PhD in Electrical Engineering at North Dakota State University. Today, I would like to share with you my research that helps the patients with incontinence. Elderly patients and acute care patients in the hospital or nursing homes who feel discomfort, sometimes unable to communicate that they need their diaper changed. They must depend on nurses who manually check the patients only at periodic intervals. There are some remote sensing technologies on the market, but those that doesn't work for this, uh, for this um, solution because they are too expensive. We need a simple, low-cost sensing solution that, that is disposable <coughs> and flexible, and that is very environmentally friendly and, and doesn't harm the patient. In my thesis work, I designed this motion sensor that is very inexpensive, flexible, disposable, and doesn't need any battery. The motion sensor is an antenna made of copper trays with a chip on paper. And the low cost choices for this material, for this motion sensor, make it very inexpensive. That's why this is the right choice for the individuals or for the organizations like hospitals, nursing homes, who need an inexpensive solution. Simply, this is a simple piece of paper that can detect whether it is dry or wet and alert the nurse that the diaper needs to be changed. Due to its construction of paper, the sensor put in the diaper will be comfortable for the patient. And a reader is required to read the sensor remotely and wirelessly. I presented this research paper in 2014, ITPOLI EIT conference. And this paper was recognized as the best paper in that conference. As the orientation of the moisture sensor to the receiver is the key to sense dryness or wetness. There is some difficulties in implementation when the patients continuously changing their positions. We are looking forward for this betterment of this sensor so that the sensor can sense wetness or dryness regardless of motion or orientations. Thank you.